he made news. He would lie his head off about anything and everything, and the press uh, would um, pick it up and figure, well, there, there isn't that much time to go ahead and do a, a long-term investigation in three months to see if what he's talking about is true or not. He had been voted the worst senator in the Senate regularly in uh, these uh, pollings among the Washington correspondents, and he got away with it in the press. Well, he gets away with it in the press, he gets away with it on the wire services, and he gets away with it in radio and in television. Uh, today, Joe, uh, uh, Senator McCarthy said, and you run it. Then by the time you get around to answering him, he's off on another attack. And he was beautiful at it. He so knew how to use it. Why did you go with what he said instead of going with what he, uh, checking it out first? Uh, uh, was right? We personally uh, see it now didn't have the problem of going with what he said because we weren't on top of the story right. day after day. But when you're running a news agency day after day, hour by hour, if the senator comes out and says, that uh, Harry Truman was seen last night with Eleanor Roosevelt in, uh, in a, a, a position that was not too uh, honorable. Why, uh, who the hell's going to have time to, to look that up? You get a denial, and the denial makes it even worse than the attack. But McCarthy could get away with it because he had, he was running a committee, and he would drag people up before the committee and, uh, as he liked to say about himself, horsewhip them. We compartmentalized. I wasn't doing daily news at that time, but uh, I know that uh, people were saying, how the hell is it? Why are we letting this guy get away with it? Why were you? Well, evidently they were not equipped at that time or felt equipped to do really tough investigative reports on this senator.